Hello, Cancer. How are you? This is a We Need to Talk. It is not a regular reading. It is a Spirit has told me something that you need to be called out on. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you don't want to hear it, click off now. If you appreciate it, hit the like button. All right, Cancer, when I was meditating on your energy, oh my God, I had an asthma attack. I had an asthma attack. Um, and before that, I was getting, listen to your body, make healthier choices, emotional culpability. And if you can't breathe, if you're feeling like you can't breathe, what are you holding on to? that you're not willing to release, that you're not willing to let go of. And this could be from your childhood. This could be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Okay? What are you not releasing? What or who? So what we do for this reading is I pull three cards from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot, and it is a very thick book. So I read from the book. And we put it all together. Cancer for September, please. Cancer. Thank you. Self. Two of fire. And king of fire. <laughs> all right. You start off with a major arcana. Self. And I'll hold them up as I read, don't worry. Number 14. It is a huge book, it is. Okay. Self. I'll read the key words, the key phrases in the first paragraph or two. I am identity, self-realization, self-manifestation, center, peace, acceptance, <coughs> <coughs> cancer. You're having a very difficult time accepting yourself, coming to peace with yourself, coming to terms with who and what you are. Establish a unique and individual identity. Be free of definitions and labels. You have unlimited potential. How has your past shaped you? Identity is fluid and changing. Who are you, who, sorry, who you are is for you to determine. Are you trying to fit with the wrong crowd? Know who you are. Who do you wish to become? A path of loving expansion. Let go of herd mentality and think for yourself. I think Libra had this card as well. This would be the emotional culpability that I was discussing. The self card is the sixth reason. This is the sixth of the reasons for being. It signifies the importance of establishing a unique and individual identity that is free of definitions and labels and embraces unlimited potential. There are elements within every society that do all they can to quash the in independent, the creative, and the authentic because they profit in one way or another from doing so. Independent thinkers, creative types, those who defy tradition and convention, who pr perceive what is ethical and moral and what is legal as being too different beasts are people that threaten the status quo as a result we are indoctrinated we are told how to think told what is normal told what is beautiful and acceptable what is right and what is wrong <coughs> you are not expressing yourself in the least right now <coughs> whoever this is for you're having a very difficult time expressing yourself. Oh my goodness. Cancer. 
I was fine until I got into your energy. Uh, those who disagree or seek to be independent or who just do not fit with society's definition of normal and beautiful are often met with fear, anger, anger contempt, ridicule, and even banishment and imprisonment. Independent thinkers can be considered radicals, creative types, seen as eccentric or crazy, and those who defy tradition and convention as rebels and freaks. All risk condemnation in one way or another. Oh, you are in a battle with someone or a group or an organization or work. Because you're trying to be yourself, it's going both ways. You're in a battle with yourself or you're in a battle with someone else. And they are trying to take you down. If you're in a battle with someone else and if you're in a battle with yourself, you're not allowing you to be you. <coughs> Cancer. Mm. My goodness gracious, Cancer. All right. Next card. Two of Fire. Power, sharing, mentorship, partnership, equality, teamwork, mutual interests, ambition, control. Align yourself with another. A power sharing situation. You are in a total battle with someone, Cancer. You are in a battle with someone. Two heads are better than one. A time for teamwork and cooperation. A struggle for power. Again, that struggle for power. Someone who will teach much needed skills and equal exchange of energy. Someone who will help you overcome obstacles. You are in a battle with someone or a group or something and you need outside help. Meaning, the two of fire represents partnership and aligning yourself with another who shares your goals and visions in order to make an idea a reality. It symbolizes a power sharing situation where two people with mutual interests work together because together they have more chance of success and achieving their ambitions than they would have if they worked alone. The two of fire represents teamwork and working together in a harmonious way. The division of labor is natural and organic, as each has different but equal strengths that when brought together create a stronger and united whole. It signifies an equal exchange of energy where both parties derive the same reward and satisfaction. You're not getting cooperation, Cancer. You're both and, and and you're afraid to express yourself. You're not getting cooperation and you are afraid to express yourself and you are being condemned for being who you are. And there's nothing wrong with being who you are. You are who you are. You were made that way. Or you're having a very difficult time coming to terms with who you really are. Okay. Next... If you are having a battle with someone, um, this could very well be legal. You're going to need to get outside help, I believe. King of Fire. Proactive, dauntless, inspirational, vital, powerful, passionate, charismatic, involved. Ground and focus your passion. Be more than an ideas person. Remain involved from start to finish. Every leader is part of a team. Delegate. Oh, you're supposed to be taking a leadership role in this. You're supposed to be teaching by doing. Be dauntless. Respect your position by respecting others. Show your appreciation and keep your temper in check. The King of Fire is a charismatic leader. He is passionate, and his passion is something others find inspiring because it is focused, grounded, and creative. He is the perfect team leader. He can draw to him 
the people who are necessary for a project to be completed, and every single person will want to play a part to help bring his vision to life. Some may see the King of Fire as an ideas man, but they only have to observe, and they will soon discover that he is very proactive. He likes to be involved to get his hands dirty, and he will remain involved from inception to completion. The King of Fire is also fearless, dauntless, in fact. He, he is lion-hearted and the vital heartbeat of his court. He is not afraid of hard work, but he also respects and moves through his day with the awareness that he is only part of the whole. He is a necessary part, but still just a part, and one that can be replaced if his ventures fail. This is why the King of Fire works tirelessly to fulfill his role and despite his gregarious ways and charismatic nature is at the core a very unassuming and respectful man. It is why he calls upon and makes use of those around him. He understands that he is but one man and in order to rule to rule well, he must be willing to delegate. In essence, he must be willing to share his power and his glory with others. If the King of Fire appears in your reading, it symbolizes the wisdom of knowing that even those who are leaders are part of a team. Every wise leader has people around him who perform tasks that help them to keep things running smoothly. This same wise leader respects their team and appreciates the efforts made on their behalf. He symbolizes the importance of being interested and involved from beginning to end. He asks us not to start something, delegate, and then walk away. Okay. And for some reason, I am feeling the need to read the reversal as well. So let's do that. The King of Fire Reverse speaks of the consequences of arrogance, aggressiveness, and explosive temper. It symbolizes a leader who is forgotten that in order to lead, one must have followers. And it, oh God, you guys need teamwork, something fierce. You are so needing teamwork. You need teamwork. You've got to be part of the team. You've got to be able to work as part of a team. That's all there is to it. And you're not seeing it. You don't want the teamwork. You don't want to work with others. There's something here. There's someone or, or an organization that is not appreciating you for who you are. But you understand that in order to get this through, you have to work as a team. You may very well need to bring in outside help. Okay? you got to look at the bigger picture. You are not the only one involved in this situation. You are not the only one involved in this situation, and you have to stop, stop acting like it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you for right now. I will see you soon. You know I love you. Peace to you. Ciao. Bye.